Good morning with you today, Mrs. Rania Anwar, for covering Lesson 3, Unit 4, Prep 1, Geometry, Accumulative Angles and Vertically Opposite Angles. Let's move to slide number 2. What are the, the accumulative angles? As we studied before in primary stage, the pie chart, and we know if we have some of angles surround a point, as the, this point is the vertex of all angles, these angles are called accumulative angles, and the sum of the measures of these angles equals 360 degrees. So, the sum of the measures of the accumulative angles at point is 360 degree. If we have three angles or four angles have the same vertex, all of them are drawn from the same point, the sum of their measures is 360 degrees. Let's move to slide number three. Vertically opposite angle. If we have two straight lines, intersect at point as shown in the figure. If the straight line AB intersect the straight line CD at point M, then we have two pairs of vertically opposite angle. And the vertically opposite angles are equal in measure. Since AB straight line intersect CD straight line at point M, then measure of angle AMD equal measure of angle BMC because they are vertically opposite angles and also measure of angle AMC equals measure of angle BMG. So if we have two straight lines intersect at point, then each two vertically opposite angles are equal in measure. Let's move to slide number four. Complete the following. Number one, if two straight lines intersect, then each two vertically opposite angles are equal in measure. Number two, the sum of the measures of the accumulative angles at point equals 360 degrees. Let's move to slide number five. We have an example. In the opposite figure, AB straight line intersects CG straight line at point M. ME bisects angle AMC. And measure of angle BMC equals 116 degrees. Find measure of angle AMD and measure of angle AME. Firstly, we use the data or the given in the problem. We have two straight lines intersect at point. So we have vertically opposite angles are equal in measure. Where AB straight line intersects CG straight line at point M, then measure of angle AMD equal measure of angle CMB equals 116 degrees. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angle. We can stand this by VOA, vertically opposite angles. Then, we said before, if we have a straight line, it makes a straight angle. It's the measure 180 degrees. So where point M belongs to AB straight line, it makes angle AMB is a straight angle. It's the measure 180 degrees. And we have measure of angle BMC equals 116. So we can get measure of angle AMC by subtracting 116 from 180, it will be 64. We can write the reason supplementary angles or straight angle. And we have here a bisector. 
what's the meaning of bisector? Bisector, we said before, divides the angle into two equal angles. Where ME bisects angle A and C, it divides it into two equal angles. Measure of angle AME equal measure of angle EMC equals 64 divided by 2 equals 32 degrees. Let's move to slide number 6. We have another example. In the opposite figure, find measure of angle CMD, then prove that MA ray and MC ray are on the same straight line. We said before to prove that two rays are on, are on the same straight line, we must prove that we have two adjacent angles are supplementary. What the meaning of supplementary? The sum of their measures equals 180 degrees. So, in this figure, like a fan. So, we have accumulative angles at point M. The sum of their measures equals 360 degrees. We have the measure of three angles. We can get the fourth angle. So, where the sum of the measures of the accumulative angles at point equals 360, then measure of angle CMD equals 360 minus between brackets 130 plus 50 plus 75 equals 105 degrees. To prove that MA ray and MC ray are on the same straight line, we must search for two adjacent angles or supplementary. So where measure of angle A and B plus measure of angle B and C equals 50 plus 130 degrees equals 180 and they are supplementary angles, then MA ray and MC ray are on the same straight line. Let's move to slide number seven to another example. In slide number seven, in the opposite figure, if AB straight line intersects CD straight lines at point M, then we want to find the value of X. As we see, if we have two straight lines intersect at point, then each two vertically opposite angles are equal in measure. So, where AB straight line intersects CD straight line at point M, then measure of angle BMC equals measure of angle AMD equals 150 degrees because they are vertically opposite angle. And angle BMC is represented by 3X. So 3x equals 150. Now we solve an equation in algebra. 3x, it means 3 multiplied by x. To find the value of x, we make the opposite operation. So we divide 150 by 3, it will be 50 degrees. So here, x equals 50 degrees. Let's move to slide number 8. In the opposite figure, if MA perpendicular to M, MB perpendicular to MA, if we have two perpendicular lines, they form a right angle, it's the measure 90 degrees. And MC ray bisects the reflexed angle AMB. What is the reflexed angle? The angle whose measure more than 180 and less than 360. Then complete measure of angle AMC equals what degrees? So, we started to solve this. We use the data or the information in the head of the question to solve it. Firstly, we have two perpendicular lines, so they form a right angle. Where MA perpendicular to MB so, measure of angle A and B equals 90 degrees. And where 
measure of the reflexed angle A and B, we can get it by using the accumulative angles or by subtracting angle A and B from 360. So, the reflexed angle A and B equals 360 minus 90, it will be 270. Here we have a bisector. It divides the angle into two halves, into two equal the angle. Where MC bisects angle, the reflexed angle A and B, therefore, measure of angle A and C equal measure of angle B and C equal 270 divided by 2 equals 135 degrees. Let's move to slide number 9. In the opposite figure, we want to calculate the value of x. As we see, this figure like the fan. We have four angles. Two of them are known. Measure of angle A and B equals 115. And measure of angle A and D equals 45 degrees. We want to calculate the value of x, which represent the measure of angle B and C. An angle CMD is represented by 3x. Where the sum of the accumulative angles at point equals 360 degrees, then measure of angle CMD plus measure of angle CMB equals 360 minus between brackets 115 plus 45 equals 200. Then x plus 3x equals 200. x plus 3x are like terms. We can add them. It will be 4x. 4x equals 200 degrees. What's the meaning of 4x? 4 multiplied by x. To get the value of x, we make the opposite operation. So we divide 200 by 4 equals 50 degrees. So measure of angle x or x equals 50 degrees. Let's move to the last example. In the opposite figure, if AB straight line intersects CE straight line at point M, and MA, MD ray perpendicular to CE straight line, and MB bisects angle DME, find the measures of the following angles. Measure of angle BME, measure of angle DME, measure of angle AMC, and measure of angle AME. It looks difficult for you, but we start step by step. Firstly, we have two perpendicular lines. They form a right angle. It's the measure 90 degree. So, here we have MD perpendicular to CE straight line. So it formed two right angles. Measure of angle DMC equals measure of angle DME equals 90 degrees. And we have MB by sixth angle DME, which we know it's measure 90. So it divides it into two equal angles where MB bisects angle DME, then measure of angle DMB equal measure of angle BME equals 90 divided by 2 equals 45 degrees. And also we have two intersecting straight lines. They form vertically opposite angles, where AB straight line intersect CE straight line at point M, then measure of angle AMC equal measure of angle BME equals 45 degrees because they are VOA, vertically opposite angles. And finally, CE is a straight line. It forms a straight angle, it's a measure 180. So we can get measure of angle AME equals 180 minus 45 equals 135 degrees. 
the reason is supplementary angles or straight angle. And also we have another solution for measure of angle AME by using the accumulative angles. The sum of the accumulative angles at point equals 360 degree. So we can get measure of angle AME by subtracting 360 minus between brackets 90 plus 90 plus 45. It will be the same answer, 135 degrees. Okay, we have finished now. Thank you for listening and goodbye. See you soon.